Hey guys, this is Lee here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a bag opening for a new sunfish sale that I got online just a couple of days ago. When I was surfing the web, I was looking around with different stuffs, and I came across the Intensity website, and I was scrolling down their items, and I came across a new sale. This is not the normal Intensity practice sale that everyone seems to know about. It is this thing here where it's a colored, I believe it's red, white, and blue. And what is different about this sale is that it doesn't have grommets for the sale ties or sale clips. And since it was so new, I just had to have it so I could review it for you guys. So in this video, I'm going to unbox the brand new intensity sale that doesn't need sale ties but before we get started with the unboxing or the unbagging, I'd like to thank all the subscribers to the channel. It helps the channel grow a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please press that subscribe button right down below. I would love to be able to live stream on YouTube. And in order to do this, I need 1000 subscribers. I'd love to bring you sailing tutorials, tips and tricks in all things sailing. So if you can, please subscribe to the channel. It's easy, it's totally free, and I appreciate it a lot. So now, here's to the video. So one random day last week, I think I was just scrolling around the internet and then on the interweb, and I came across this intensity sale. The sale looked interesting to me. It's a multicolored sale. I believe it is a race cut practice sale. And what got me is it has straps that are Velcro or hook and loop if they're not using Velcro brand fasteners. And these are supposed to be easier to take on and off spars. So I got a package from Jim Myers from Intensity Sales. I'm not sponsored by Intensity Sales. It came in to my place and it was nicely packaged. I bought a couple of practice sales a while ago. And uh, in general, the practice sales are thicker than the regular North sales or the sales that you get through Laser Performance. I don't race with them as I race in mostly class sanctioned events, but uh, they're pretty good knockaround sales. I do race with them on my JY15 in the Connecticut River Dinghy Club Frostbite Fleet, which used to be the Snapper Inn Frostbite Fleet down in Oakdale, New York for the last 17 years or so, but that fleet's been around for about 25 years. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to carefully take my scissor and just open this up. And hopefully, when you're opening up anything from a sale, sailing supply store, especially if it's a sale, don't don't use a box cutter. I know some people um, who try to cut things with box cutters and they slip, and they either cut their sail or they cut their hand. And I wonder if that person. And, uh, what I'm thinking about is what is this? Oh, okay. So here's the open one. Here. Oh, there you see the little little thing in here. Little. bag it's sealed and it says sunfish colored mainsail rwb so i guess that's uh red white and blue with webbing loops and it says colored c-o-l-o-u-r-e-d so i wonder if this is made in china or hong kong or somewhere with an in english somewhere with an english background uh what usually these intensity sales come with come with these they have telltales here and a couple of 
red and green stickers. So that's kind of cool. And do they come with numbers? I don't know. Oh, this one already has a telltale on it. Hmm. Uh, So this is, uh, I don't know if this is the head or not, let's take a look, there's a loop, this is definitely, it's not a deck one, I can't say it for sure, this feels like a recreational type of, of sale just from what I, what I promise here. Oh, these don't, these don't come out. These are not Velcro. Okay, so they're loops and then you slide them on. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, so I have my, this is a laser performance sale. Again, I'm not sponsored by laser performance intensity or any other. This, just trying to feel, I'm, I don't have any special equipment to, to see. Huh. No, I, I don't really know. All right, so let's compare. This, I'm not sure, I didn't open this all up. The stitching. It actually looks like there's more stitching on, on this. compared to here. There's there's actually less stitching on this racing set. The grommets. It looks like the grommets are bigger on this intensity scale. Similar. But there's definitely a difference. You see that? There's absolutely a difference in the grommet size. So we got grommet feel this in here. But you definitely can see that there's, there's more of a, a bigger hole in the intensity sale. And I'm not sure if this makes a big difference, but it looks like the the distance between the grommet and the edge of the sail is shorter on this racing sail versus here, so there's more cloth here. Difference other than if the sail is probably closer with the racing sail to the spar. Okay, so these are these are just loops. These are not Velcro. I was mistaken. I thought these were Velcro. So let's let me see if I have a spar. Okay, I just happen to have a spar right here. And let's see how this goes around. That is a huge gap. That's that's big, that's a two-finger gap. That let me see it. The spar is pretty good. That's a big, that's a big gap. This is gonna be like a, like a spinnaker, I would think. So I guess what's good about the gap, if you have blocks or cleats on your boom and the boom block, I bet you can get around uh, them with this. However, the sail's going to be far away. Like I said, I'm fitting two fingers in here easily. And I'm going to set this up on a set of spars that I have laying around. We'll see how it looks with the sale up. So if you're getting any value from this video, please smash that like button below.
Okay, so for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to tie simple knot around the tack. And give it a little left over right, right over left square knot. That'll give us an idea. I'm going to do a head uh, sail tie and an alcohol sail tie for the for the, the clue, but I'm not going to do an adjustable. You could definitely see the gap between the spar and the sail. I mean, that's a couple of inches. Uh, at rest, it's about an inch, but at, at the most, it's going to be two to three fingers. It depends how fat your fingers are. Uh, I have pretty fat fingers, so I'm like two, two and a half fingers here. It's not a bad looking sail. They didn't put the logo on there uh, like they do with their other uh, practice sail. And the leech, it's, uh, it's not as smooth as the practice sail. There's a, there's a couple of straight angles for the price. I, I, you know, you can't expect a great sail. I think this is a good sail for the price. I don't know the, the different cloth manufacturers and resin stuff. This feels about the same thickness as a North Racing sale. I'm sure it's not the same, but people who are buying this are not out there to win world championships or regionals or anything. Is this really worth it to have these, these loops? I don't know because do they save time? Yeah, they'll save time, but how often do sunfish sailors change out their sails? That's the question. If you change out sails, then, and you don't want to tie sail ties, then this might be worth it. Or you could use sail clips. Sail clips are what most sailors, especially recreational sailors use. Those are pretty easy to to uh, clip on and off. So I don't know if it's really worked it to have this loopy sail here. I do think it's kind of cool to have something different. You want to just loop these on, you can. I'm not sure how much I like this gap here. Even on a recreational sail. Uh, usually when the sails are tied on, you could barely get like a like a piece of pencil through there. I would say about four millimeters away, approximately. Uh, but that's, I'm talking about someone who really cares about the, the distance between that, and which is really someone who cares about getting the most speed out of your boat. This is a perfect sail for someone who doesn't want to deal with sail clips, who doesn't want to deal with sail ties, and just wants to put an inexpensive sail on their boat and go sailing. It probably actually works out a little cheaper if you buy this sail without the sail clips or the sail ties. And all you have to do is get a few pieces of line. I would get a, a sail clip or, or a line to tie here. I would definitely get better line than this. I'm just putting this up here for demonstration purposes. You also have a grommet here for the Cunningham, so you could pull it down. So that's kind of a neat feature. But without without a block on the boom, your Cunningham is not going to work. But they have it here anyway, so you could depower your sail. What a Cunningham does, it moves the belly of the 
of the sail forward, of the draft, that's what they call it, and I'll depower the sail. They put these, these telltales on um, for, for starboard, they're, they're good, good position. For port, they might be too close. Let's see. For port, they're, I, I believe they're too close to the mast. It's going to get some turbulence there. Uh, but that's, they'll, they'll do their job. So that's the intensity sails pre-installed loops. Two of them are Velcro. The rest are sewn on web. The big enough gap to get around blocks and to get around out hole cleats and cunning hand cleats if you have them on your boat. This boom does not have them. Uh, it took me probably 10 to 12 minutes to put it all together. Um, so it's easy to do. Once it's on, I don't think you would be taking it off. If you like the colors, this is red, white, and blue, then and that's kind of cool. You, you can get it for the colors. It's nice to have a window. I believe it's a little flatter than a racing sail. I think once this is sailed out, this will flatten all out, and then it'll, it'll be fine. What do you think about the sail? What do you think about the pre-sewn loops and the gaps on the sail from the spars? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So I hope you enjoyed the video of the unboxing, unbagging of the new intensity sale with the built-in loops. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. I read them all. So if you haven't already subscribed, please press the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and smash that like button. It helps out the channel a lot, and I'll see you on the water.